Uh, why aren't housing prices tumbling down like the news say they will? You know, what's funny about the news, I've seen articles where they talk about prices are gonna go up, and I see articles where prices are gonna go down, and I just don't understand where they get their information from. Now, if you're looking in the ultra luxury markets in you know the West Coast, the East Coast, some of those prices ha have come down because people just don't have 20, 30 million dollars to throw around like they used to with inflation. But the normal median sale prices across the United States, um, you know, we're seeing three to five percent appreciation this year. Now, when I say we, you know, it's not me making this prediction, but it's you know several you know these national people that look at data, they look at trends. And a couple of the biggest things here, you know, I talked about yesterday, the lack of inventory. Um, that's across the board nationwide in the median sale prices in most markets. You know, there's always nuances, but um, when you have uh, less homes for sale, more buyers out there, that drives up demand, that drives up the, the sale prices. So uh, we don't see any, you know, economic indicators, any indicators out there where, you know, the housing market is gonna crash where prices are, are gonna go down. So I would say expect, you know, that if you wait um, to buy a house one year, you'll be paying three to 5% more for that house next year than you would today.